Anyway, we're going to take our MVP interview. It's going to be Journey. How do you feel uh, after becoming the MVP today? All of our team did very well today. So I'm happy that I was able to get the MVP out of these great players. Are you really that good in the practice house? As we all hear. He says he feels like he's better in practice, in fact. He made a, a few mistakes today, but he still showed a great performance, he feels. And I would agree with him. Yeah, so would I. Your opponent was a former champion and a big time veteran player. Were you nervous coming into the booth today? As I mentioned in my last interview, he feels like he gets less nervous now as he gets more experience in the booth, and he feels very confident in the mirror matchup of TBT these days. You're able to eliminate a lot of MMA's tanks with your Marines in this push. Was that your focus in this battle? Bionic versus Bionic, you need to have more tanks than your opponent. So it's very important to lower your, your opponent's tank count. He did just that. Yep. Watching those tanks fall. In order to do that, you have to get a better concave, or you have to flank your opponent's tanks to get them. So, so they're talking about making one engineering bay versus two. Like, why would you do one versus two? It's he says it's personal preference. We talked about this a lot in that game actually about how it was greedier to do the two, but it actually gave him a huge advantage. Uh, so, MMA had less upgrades during that game. So it feels like MMA had to be more aggressive than he actually was. And it actually gave him too much, he gave him too much time to build an army to have those upgrades with, which is what we were talking about when we were commentating that game. And uh, we're gonna talk about this moment here. The only chance he had was an elimination race. He knew that beforehand, so he was able to position his units to defend. Uh, and, and this is the attempt here that he was able to block, getting those units in position with the Marines. Pretty straight, straightforward game here. So, asking about Coach uh, Stork, who actually recently got into Code. Uh, he helps in practice. He's good enough to, to help us practice. So, uh, definitely, definitely uh, good, but not not good enough yet to come out in pro league. See what happens with him and Kode. Maybe that changed their minds. When he came out in Pro League last time, he actually almost got a set for us. So if he practices more, I think he can get some wins. So he doesn't have anything else to say about that, he says. So the three Terrans uh, in Samsung have been doing very well recently. Reality um, and Journey and Bravo. Bravo, that's right, sorry. I was like thinking of Guilty for some reason, but it's not, not, uh, not doing as well. Uh, talking with each other a lot about Terran builds. They're very good friends. We communicate a lot and that helps us a lot to improve. Next Pro League, who do you want to face? If I come out, no matter what, I, I'm okay facing anyone. Um, the match is going to be versus Jenner Green Wings next week. Big match. Yep. Scary place for Samsung, in fact. Any comments to the fans? It's very difficult to come out to the studio these days in Korea, referring to the MERS virus, yep. 
Well, thank you guys for coming out to cheer for us, the ones who are here right now especially. I'll try my best uh, for the next match so we can make it to the playoffs. So there you have it. Um, you were talking about how Samsung, you know, maybe in the future, you were talking about the future, um, talking about last season, talking about this season. Um, maybe yeah. they will pull together and finally become a really strong force in Korea. Maybe off the back of these three Terrans, once they get more and more uh, experience uh, in the booth and just continue to practice well, you know, continue to talk and be good friends, maybe then they will start to do better and better. But guys, next week, we're going to have the final week of round three. It's going to be on Monday, Prime versus CJ Entis, and then Jenner Green Wings versus Samsung Galaxy Khan. Definitely should be an exciting week, a tough one for Prime and Samsung. But most important of all, come down to the arena on Saturday for the Grand Finals Dream versus Classic. It's going to be a really, really good match, a best of seven between these two. Dream's chance to prove that he is one of the best Terrans in the world. Last time he lost to Maru. A back-to-back -back finals is very impressive. Very few players have been able to, to pull off consecutive back-to-back -back finals. Yeah. Happy that Classic is back here as well. Uh, let's see if he can pick down another one of his teammates in the finals and uh, make another one, kind of that Kong line, uh, Terran or Zerg or whoever it is, depending on who you're talking about. Sure. That, that second place guy who always gets second place, uh, referring to like Yellow and Marine King and now Dream even, and Sue, of course, Sue, last yeah. year. Uh, be sure to follow the two of us on Twitter. I'm Proxy Wolf. He's Brendan Valdez. And uh, we love hearing from you guys. Yeah, we'll always respond to pretty much anything you say. Uh, we'll post a bunch of funny pictures and uh, related news about StarCraft in Korea, most importantly. So if you want to hear all that stuff, hopefully do go ahead and follow that. But, guys, that's going to be it for us here tonight on Tuesday. Definitely check out the finals, Dream versus Classic, on Saturday. It's going to be fantastic. And we'll see you there. And